All right, so let's look at one of our favorite setups right here. This is a failure trade. This is uh, after unemployment claims. Uh, we do have non-farm payrolls tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go over the, this uh, uh, this particular setup. We had a huge setup on the NASDAQ futures uh, pre and post news on this exact setup. So this is what's called my failure setup. It's one of my favorite setups. We have four setups in the trade room that we look at during the day. We don't need to look at any other setups. We don't need any other oscillators to help us out, to pull us in. We've got everything we need right in front of us because these four setups should dictate price action on any futures, stocks, Forex. Uh, it works right across the board. Currency markets even works on some traders use it for crypto. So this is a failure trade. What a failure trade is, is we, we tested these zones um, for the last 30 years. So these zones have been tested for the last 30 year using a... Um, artificial intelligence program with one of our uh, old members and she helped us out so we know that these zones are very very accurate so these zones should should um, should repel price when they come down to the zones what happens though if you get into a zone and you get a trend change in the market meaning you get you get where uh, the, the market is looking to stop its uptrend in the S&P or whatever market you're trading and it starts to start a downtrend what we just had one on the Nasdaq futures a second ago which I'll show you in a second so a failure trade is where the zone is green so this is a slingshot right here this is a slingshot buy so slingshot is where you get the oscillator that gets below 20 and gets back up through my bear zone so that's a slingshot this is a slingshot trade right here this big move up that's a slingshot that's one of our four setups, right? That's a slingshot trade because we're looking for green zone. We're looking to come down to it and slingshot us up when this small oscillator gets below 20, cranks back up through 20, and gets through our bear zone. This is our bear zone at 65. And that shot the S&P up uh, at 7.30 this morning drastically from 92 potential up to 02, 10 S&P point move. Well, what happened is we came back down, and the, you're looking for another slingshot, right? So we're looking for another slingshot, but what happens is is they fail sometimes, and if they fail, you don't get pulled into them. So this slingshot, you got pulled in because it went below 20, and it got up through my bear zone, minimum 65 here. So this is where the entry, and it pushed up 10 points. Well, it came down. My small oscillator got below 20 again. Look how my small oscillator did not get above 65, my bear zone. So that told me that price action is weak. So if the price action is weak, that tells me that we have a possible failure. And this is one of my favorite boards, so one of the four setups I, I love to look at. And you, you, traders know, members know that when I walk through these setups, we, we have a big heads up on this sometimes sometimes five, ten minute heads up before this even when it starts developing. You know, so this one, you want to come down to the zone and you're going to know right away because a failure trade is a failed slingshot. So it doesn't pull us in. So you're looking for to come to the zone. You get below 20. When you start cranking back up through, you want to get above this bearish zone of 65 to propel us higher like that 10 point push potential earlier. Well, it didn't, did it? Well, you got the red bar reversal, and you got the big plunge. Right now, we're running to the downside on the S&P. It started out the entry would be on the failure trade at 92 and three quarters, plus or minus a tick or so. Okay, so how can we pick? How can we look for this failure before it even happens? A failure has specific rules. A specific specific rule is this: it has to get below 40. All right. Now, this has been tested over, over the last 30 years also. 40, it's got to get below 40. 40 is a major threshold for us. It's my proprietary setup right here. I want to get below 40, my large signal line. My large is the thick signal line. My thick signal line. I want it to get below 40. If it's below 40 and my slingshot small signal line, this is a 21, this is a 7 for you members. If it stays below 65, and I'm getting, and it's a failed slingshot, meaning I'm getting green bars, green bars, looking like we're pulling into slingshot, but it does not. 
it gets a red bar reversal before I get above my bear zone of 65 and you get a red bar reversal there's your short 92 and three quarters your stop just above that swing high right one or two ticks above that swing high is suffice and this is on the 113 13 Rinko so the potential it got as low as 78 so you're talking what 12 13 S&P point potential to the downside off of this failure trade all right so failures are all they are is failed slingshots now what I'm going over tomorrow we're putting this stuff into strategies for you so we have a strategy being developed it's going to be Phil's helping me test this one of our members this is the right here a failure trade so if you wanted a trade like this to trade with the strategy you would just click on failure trade right there the failure trade and it would specifically look for this specific setup only and what it will do is it will wait till that large oscillator this signal line right here Where's my signal lines at my signal line right there and this will be my large signal line right there it will wait for this large signal line to get below it's already pre-programmed to get below 40 my smaller signal line it will wait until it's below 65 then it will wait the strategy until you get the green bar revert red bar reversal against overall zone and it will pull in at that level plus or minus a few ticks at 92 and three quarters then you'll have your ATR trail go over this tomorrow in our conference call and there you go that will be a failure trade so we have a strategy being developed for all four of our setups we have a first wave toggle switch slingshot first time we've ever done it in the trade room where we put all of our top setups into one strategy and we have an indicator that prints the arrows if you don't like strategy trading we have, do have indicators that will fire an arrow right there short if you just put up let's say the indicator so I go in here and I do the indicator and I come down to the indicator where is it at here we go so let's say I do the indicator the indicator if I just want an arrow to pop up I click failure this is the indicator here will be my zones I'll put my zones in here's my standard zones I like to use which will all be preset for you already and then if I just want the failure trade this arrow will fire up right there if you just want the failure trade to show up only one arrow will fire up right there when the failure trades are coming up I envision a lot of you guys will like the failure trade and I envision a lot of you guys will like the slingshot trade those are my two favorite setups now I love the slingshot so in other words right here let's say you had slingshot toggle switched on then it would took it would have told you right here slingshot to get you in at that arrow arrow would print here for a slingshot got above my bear threshold there's your entry there and then a green arrow would print here for that nice move up and then a red arrow print there so you can dictate what you want to do on the strategy we'll go over that tomorrow all right so failure trades work on all markets so let's take a look at in slingshots let's take a look at what started this whole big downtrend in the Nasdaq futures this is the this is the failure trade I love these setups so this is my 12020 Uni Renko 12020 all right so once again I need two criteria to happen the first criteria is is I need to be I'm looking for a slingshot green zones I'm looking for a slingshot right I need this small oscillator to get above my minimum th my threshold of 65 bear zone hits its head right on it right so that's not a that's a failed slingshot so you get these green bar reversals and the other criteria I need I need that large oscillator which is pre-programmed in the strategy already an indicator I need it below 40 I need a small oscillator below 65 to pull us in and look at that short it just got cranked to the downside I'll show you so if you had failure trade at fire arrow there on the strategy or indicator and then um, or if you can visually see it now those that have the software now you can see it because we have this workspace built for you already and then we go from a failure trade here right into the slingshot because now zone turned red failure start off big 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 trends then I go my oscillator gets above 80 shoots back down through 80 and now goes back down through my bull zone 
So if you had slingshot that was put into the strategy, then on the NASDAQ futures, it got you short right there when the market started moving. So failure if you had it in the strategy. Here, I'll go over that tomorrow. That's where I'll get you short. And then this will get you short on the slingshot. Okay, so, uh, but the failure trade, if you notice, we're talking about a failure video here. If you notice, look at that failure started a big trend. Typically, what will happen is you get a failure trade and you'll go right into a slingshot. Right, failure right into a slingshot short. You know, you got to be opposite color zone. You're good to go. Um, I also like failure trades that happened with trend. So trends down. And I talk to traders about this all the time. This is a beautiful short. I love this short right here. Why? Because I'm into a green zone when trends down on my larger Rinko sizes. I turn green zone. My oscillator is below 40. My larger oscillator 21. My smaller oscillator 7 below my, my 65. That is a beautiful short right there. I love failures like that that happen on failure trades uh, when the zone is opposite of overall trend. So that works quite well. Um, let's say you had slingshot though. This is a great slingshot turn green. This is a slingshot trade. This is a first wave slingshot. So this is our first wave going red to green. So let's say on the strategy you wanted to put in, you wanted the first wave, the first wave you have it checked, then it would look for this setup. When it turns red to green, it's going to look for this buy right there. There's your entry. Your arrow will come in on the slingshot wave. It will wait till we get below, all the way below 20, come up through that zone. There it is. Your stop loss two ticks below that swing low, and it catched that nice swing up. Then it got another slingshot. Uh, now if you had a slingshot, here's your slingshot trade. There's your entry here. If you wanted that in the strategy, it's going to fire at that level right there. If you know another slingshot right there, you got below 20, right back through 20 above my bear zone 65. Another slingshot. So it went first wave slingshot into a slingshot into another slingshot. This is a Momo trade. If you have Momo clicked on my strategy, and Momo is clicked right here, we have the Momo. Like I said, you don't need to learn to learn any other setups. This is the rhythm of the market. My four setups should dictate price action during the day. This is my Momo setup. My Momo has special criteria. My Momo here says this, that I have to have both oscillators has to be above. My large oscillator has to be above 80 for a buy, and my small oscillator has to stay minimum above 40 bull zone. So that arrow would fire there. That is a Momo trade. So. If you look at the NASDAQ right now, um, like I said, these these four setups is only the setups that I uh, put together because it, it catches the rhythm of the market on any market. That's a slingshot. That's a that's a first wave slingshot. That's a slingshot. That's a slingshot. That's a Momo trade. I'm looking for a failure trade to happen here or a slingshot. That turned into a slingshot. When you get to the lower in the zone, my small big oscillator was below 40. Small oscillator was below 65. So if it would have turned a red bar reversal staying below 65, that would have turned into a failure trade. But we know that uh, that slingshot trades are when you get up above the bear zone, and that's another slingshot trade. But that was a potential uh, th that was a potential failure here. But it turned into a slingshot. So a slingshot. There's your entry right there. And there's your entry right there. Look at this thing cranking. So you went from first wave slingshot, 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 Momo, potential failure trade, but you don't have a failure trade unless it's a failed slingshot. It busted right through my bear zone of 65, and then that's your entry when it busts through, and there you go again. So you can see the rhythm of it. These are the four setups that, that, that work on a daily basis over and over again um, because it's the rhythm I put together. Uh, of these four setups, first wave, slingshot, Momo, failure. That's how it works. Okay, those would be your entry levels as far as this goes. All right, so you can use this as an indicator. Like I said, I'll go over this in the conference call tomorrow for about 15 minutes, the guts of it, and then um, other than that, uh, we'll. Uh, we will do four conference calls uh, all the uh, over the next month, 
and then after the fourth conference call, uh, I envision releasing this thing to the members in the room. Um, so uh, then you guys can um, you guys can select which strategy that you want to use as far as that goes.